and we're off. So what are we doing here? Can I go, Foxy? Sure. Ready. And I feel like a total sellout using MBT seventies. Swear. And why is that? I don't know. It's just not. Proper NATO commander uses this main gun to blow shit up. I'm playing all Swedes, by the way. <laughs> Do you hear death? I think death would smoke. Cool. Otherwise he'd be enjoying the taco jokes as well. Well, since you have two fobs, do you need me to lead back? No, that's fine. Sure? Yep. Well, okay then. Wait, so where am I going? Leftwards. India? Yes, sir. Mike have an Charlie. India Inn hotel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and early cap Fox, I think. I'm getting Alpha Foxtrot. I think Bra is going for Delta Bravo. Echo Bravo. Well, I just meant that you were. Like, look like you were going towards Delta. Oh. If you're not, no, I was just putting you in the Sierra Alpha. Sir.
bitch, bitch. Oh shit. Dude, it's crazy how the Thunderbolts will fire their cannon while they're doing circles now. Do they really? Yeah. Did they change something? I don't know. <laughs> wow, that Thunderbolt just fucking ruined his day. Some ballsy stuff right there. Yeah. <laughs> Very good ECM. Yeah. You can do some stuff with some C's that you normally wouldn't do. Yeah. It's still pretty luck based though. Ballsy. I know. You fucker. Anyone got a raven? Nope.
You see bug in my eyes. Command down. Nice. MLRS, dude. You bring him in close, dude. That many rockets in one spot. It's just... Those are Malkas. Got like six Malkas. Ready, sir. 
Freeman and Carter. Can you try to work up into here, Death? I'm doing it here. Yeah, you. Sure. Right here. I saw it. Got him. At the ready, The MiG-31. What's he wait? What's he been waiting on for those, man? Oh man, one one piece got due track. That was my problem.
sure I want to take the look on that. <coughs> Conkers. I'm going to move fast, so I'm going to try and close the distance. It's pretty much closed. Get to kill him right now.
Not a sound we hear ever, right? Game. <laughs> well, I feel like I got way more than my uh, combo. Taco combo. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm gonna head off. Start get a shower before I have to go to work. Alright, man. Have fun at work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's funny, huh? Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting day. Work. <sighs> well, good luck. Thanks. User disconnected from your channel. Dude, this guy's just sucking your dick all kinds of ways, isn't he? Yeah. He might not want me to upload that, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> Who was fighting him? I, I don't know if it was me or what. 
He said oh, when he didn't go for national day. Huh. Or maybe, maybe that's not what he meant. He was saying when I didn't. Maybe he went. Maybe he means because he let someone else go for Fedor. Maybe. I bet he was fighting Bruja. Yeah. Because it's that's definitely the side you could feed from easily, easier. Well, and I brought those M one A ones out to be again at the start. Well, he's on your side here at the start. I would have been screwed if I had a lighter tank, because he had four fucking T seventy two BIs over there. All he had to do was poke his head over that hill. I mean, I had some Bradleys there too, but. Those are some tough tanks from the front. He was middle. Ah. All he had was T-55As. Yeah, I saw a lot of those at the end. I don't, I don't know why. I, I guess know. that was all they could try to field. But... I wonder if he even had uh, the fucking T-72MIs. It's dead. And those are the only thing Czech has going for him. Can't imagine playing Czech without those. They're solid tanks. You gotta support them a lot, but they can soak some damage up at least. Pretty good now, 16 AP. I just, I'm never very successful pushing with the Czechs, to be honest. Uh, Czechs are weak now. After the patch, you know, like, they don't have a super tank like the others do. They have a little bit better air force, I guess. They have the Conquerors, uh, ATGMs. Re and nothing really replaces a good solid tank. <laughs> no. Gotta have you have to have that, or you're just not really a viable faction. He's also using the PLRKS 1M. I mean, who the fuck would do that? Why would you take the 1M? I don't. Oh, uh -huh. he's got the T72M. That one's okay, but why would you ever take the PLRKS 1M and not the 10M? Good tank to lead the charge, like just have it up front to soak up damage. What? The M. No, I'm talk I'm talking about the PLRK, the anti air. Oh yeah. He has the one M instead of the ten M. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work out for you. <laughs> yeah. The ten Ms are so good. I would do that. I can see having them, but because they're only thirty. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go burn one you hanging around. Uh, uh, 
I don't know, go Bert Northern, I'll let you know. Oh, I didn't even know I was still recording. <laughs> I see that you did have the 10M, you just didn't really deploy it at the start. I still had to check Goslovakia and deck, I would do it. Kind of in the process of remaking the Czechoslovakia and deck right now. This one's armored, so the best example. Ready. Alright, I did, I forgot I was still recording and I'll watch through that whole th replay like at fast speed. So I'm going to have my replay watching and us talking about choices on there. I'm going to look at some choices on making a Czechoslovakian deck real quick. Well, there's so many new players and whatnot. It might be helpful some people. Like, just go through a replay, you know what I mean? And, like, yeah. break down the different things that are going on sure. and the mindset behind it.
Because it's one thing to watch something, you know, really Shh. understand why it's happening and what, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those are lessons. I hate the way some of the availability is, where it's six, nothing hardened, and then two veteran. Like, what's the point? Just give us the fucking hardened option. Yeah. Like on the Conqueror's missiles, vehicles on Chekhov's fucking, you can't get hardened, and that's like the optimum choice. So yeah. instead, you have to take two veteran and take two cards. Yeah, head narrows you down. This is a very nice uh, recon vehicle here. You always get some of those. I like the way he was using the Viger 2s to some degree. I mean, because their Viger 2s are awesome. I would take, uh, it's also kind of lame that the checks only have a 15 point fast move vehicle. And since they only have a 5th, I usually take the 20 point one, the OT-64C, just to get the mm -hmm. ATGMs. If you're already going to spend 15, you might as well spend 5 more and get the decent ATGMs on there. Even if they are crappy AT gems. This is definitely the backbone check deck. The T sixty two C Z on the check deck is pretty cool too for Probably the only T sixty two in the game that's worth a shit. Yeah, well, the standard. The checks, the checks real power is their air force, to be honest. Yeah. Which, unfortunately, unless you have a team that got seed going on, it, it, if you don't make that air force count in the early game, like you're killing their chaparrales, you're making them pay early. If you're not doing those things, it's not going to be effective. Yeah. You know, it almost might be worth it to take your MiG-21 BISs at Veteran and grab two cards and kind of pretend like they're F-15Cs almost. Kind of play them that way a little more carefully. Otherwise, you have yeah. to take them at Trained. and I mean, they're still good at Trained. They're not F fifteen C good at trained. <laughs> no. Those that... things are just monsters in air to air combat. Monsters. Oh yeah, they are. There's nothing that's even close. SC twenty sevens, yeah, whatever. I wrote about them on the forum the other day, the fifteen C and give I was... it away. That was my secret. Don't give them away. <laughs> Bastard. Isn't that... I don't see anybody else using them. It's 25, the SU-25s with the rockets are interesting. <laughs> oh, the, the Polish have a better version, and I think it's MiG-23s or something like that. Or, or, yeah. They got those big giant rockets on them. They actually They're... do, you can do the death circle with them, and they'll actually fire those big-ass fucking rockets. They're I awesome. remember you saying that. And those rockets, man, like... I've hit M1A1s with those big rockets and knocked them down to one health with one direct hit. Yeah. Chaparrales, and that doesn't mention chaparrales and hawks and shit. You attack a target with one of those and it's... And if they're grouped too close together, you'll get two. I wonder if it's even worth taking the SU-22 M4 anymore over the Albatross. I guess the good ECM is nice. Albatrosses are... they're not bad. I mean, it's a 45-point jet. I mean... Yeah. Take it out to kill some Rollins and shit. Even if you lose it, it's totally worth it.
seen a lot of people using those MiG 25s lately with it. The anti radar missiles. Been using them to strafe helicopters and stuff. Except it doesn't have a gun. That's a problem with the MiG. I think I'm going to try my veteran BISs. One thing that sucks is that Czechs don't have an alternative fighter, really. Oh, well, they have the Avias. Avias, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's basically a, a MiG-9. And I, I guess you could use the SU-22 almost just for the gun. Yeah, the MiG-23, it's got two Gifford missiles on it, they're, they're only 3 HE damage. I think I would rather take the Avia, have it for the bombs, too. Oh, the bombs are good. Yeah, they've got 11 HE, so... I like the Mint 23s because you can use them in air to air combat. They're fine. And they've got those two fucking AGMs. They're not bad. They got 28 AP too. I mean, they do alright. Alright, I'll just leave it at this. My airplane choices are questionable, but I think they're worth a shot. Uh, the the avia the I did, did some experimentation with them. I just I couldn't fucking shoot a thing down with them, man. To be honest. With the missile. The air to air missile. Yeah. Yeah. I think you would have to use them in coordination with your Mig twenty ones, probably. The gun on it's really mean now. If anything gets close, to... yeah, hurt some shit with that gun. I mean, anything thirty millimeter, anything really twenty three millimeter and up is nasty. Like the Russians, for the most part, they have better guns on their fighters. I, from what I understand, they're about to. They're probably gonna make some changes to the strop too. And it's gonna be better. Huh. Already decent. I like the strops. If I could bring two cards of them instead of bringing a fucking cub, I would. Well, the th you have to. The th they won't shoot their missiles on the guns at the same time, so. You have to turn the guns off to get them to shoot the Icolas. And I think maybe they're going to fix that. I don't know. They're fast and they have exceptional optics, which is nice. Can the Osas shoot on the move? Fire and forget radar. That no. Okay. No. All right, shit. It. But they have 18 rounds a minute, so. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Anything that comes in the range is gonna get like three missiles fired at it. Yeah. I like to flood with them, and I only get the OSA AK now, just because it's cheaper, and it's. I don't know if that's best thing, but I get the trained ones. And just kind of flood them. Bombing like three I mean, stacks. My checks are... Um, I use the regular Strops. Uh, strop 2s. What else? Cubs. And the... Uh, basically the Strela is what it is, really. 
I like it because uh, just me personally, I like being able to shoot on the move. Because once you get a, a good attack rolling with the checks, you got to stay on the move. You can't get can't be complacent and sit around. You got to keep moving. You got to keep pushing. You got to. Keep... Well, the straps are great. Fucking mobile attire for sure. Strop two. They've got a good mortar too. Mm hmm I've started becoming, I've started bringing like one card of howitzers, one card of mortars pretty much for everything except for the Russians because they get mistas and mistas are just fucking beautiful. You don't really need mortars because they shoot so fucking fast. I think I'll take those out for now. Come on, you want to roll out with your experiments? Almost done. I've been playing a lot of Polish lately. Yeah, me too. Enjoy them. But the only thing I play on pack. Because they're actually pretty viable now. I stress a lot more with the Polish, but... Fun. All right, well, this will be my take on the Polish deck for now. I don't have enough supply on this deck. <laughs> and that's cutting the supply a little close, but it's enough. Uh, their trucks are pretty good. Stars or whatever the fuck they are. Well, they're just the same as everybody else's as far as total. Well, I'll just play a Russian deck, and I'll have tons of... I'll have, like, three cards of Urals, so if you need something, just say... I'm just talking to my viewers about deck construction. I think I'm going to have to take some planes off. i got too many points on there. I'm just going to get rid of the SU-22, I think. The thing is, with the SU-22 right now, you're risking... 110 points to bring them in and the way they nerfed the big bombs compared to the small ones it's not necessarily even worth it anymore uh, I would go Albatross or Avia well I have the um, Albatross and Avia in there the nice thing about Albatross is that 45 points their throwaway is you know it's not that big of a deal but that gives me a. That's going to give me a card of the MI4s, too. Those are nice rocket choppers. Alright, we'll go with this. wonder if I should. I'm going to stop this recording. I'll just record another one. This step.